हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर सिराज फैसी आई वेलकम यू इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बॉन्डिंग इन मिथेन एंड ऑर्बिटल हाइब्रिडाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ मिथेन टेट्राइडल बॉन्ड एंगल हंड्रेड एंड नाइन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री बॉन्ड डिस्टेंस इज हंड्रेड एंड टेन पिकोमीटर but the structure seem inconsistent with the electron configurations of carbon electronic configurations of carbon 2s2 electron 2p2 electrons only two unpaired electrons should form sigma bond to only two hydrogen atoms bonds should be at right angles to the one another so these 2s electrons promote an electron from the 2s to 2p orbital now 2s electrons 1 and 2p3 electron now mix together hybridize the 2s orbital and the 3 2p orbitals so 2sp3 four equivalent half filled orbital are consistent with four bonds in tetrahedral geometry now this is s and this is the p orbital so nodal properties of orbital positive and p positive and negative so take the s orbital and place it on the top of the p orbital now reinforcement of electrons wave in region where sign is the same destructive interference in the region of opposite sign now sp hybridize orbital show is sp hybridize analogous procedure using 3 s orbital and 1 p orbital gives sp3 hybrid shape of sp3 hybrid is similar sp3 hybridize now sp hybridize hybrid orbital is not symmetrical higher possibility probability of finding an electrons on one side of the nucleus than other lead to a stronger bond shape of sp3 hybrid orbital now the ch sigma bond in methane in phase overlap of half fill 1s orbital of hydrogen with a half fill sp3 hybrid orbital of carbon look at here s and then h plus you can see c sp3 gives a sigma bond sc justification for orbital hybridization consistent with the structure of methane allows for formation of four bonds rather than two bonds involving sp3 hybrid orbital are stronger than those involving ss overlap or pp overlap now sp3 hybridization and bonding in ethane you see the structure of ethane tetrahedral geometry at each carbon ch bond distance 110 and cc bond distance 153 picometer the cc bond in ethane in phase overlap of half filled sp3 hybrid orbital of one carbon with half filled sp3 hybrid orbital of another overlap is along the internuclear axis to give a sigma bond now you can see in phase overlap of half filled sp3 hybrid orbital of one carbon with half filled sp3 hybrid orbital of another overlap is along internuclear axis to give a sigma bond now sp2 hybridization and bonding in ethylene the structure of ethylene c2h4 this is a structure planar bond angles close to 120 degree bond distance ch 110 and carbon carbon double bond 134 so sp2 hybrid orbital hybridization 2s2 electrons 2p2 electron promote an electron from the 2s to 2p orbitals like that mix together hybridize 2s orbital and 2 of the 3p orbitals so three equivalent half filled sp2 hybrid orbital plus 1p orbital left unhybridized so two of the 3 sp2 hybrid uh, orbitals are involved in sigma bond to hydrogen the other is involved in a sigma bond to carbon look at this structure the unhybridized p orbital of carbon is involved in pi bonding to the other carbon look at here 
each carbon has an habitized unhabitized to be orbital axis of orbital is perpendicular to the plane of the sigma bond the side by side overlap of half field p orbital gives a pi bond double bond in ethylene has a sigma component and a pi component now sp hybridizations and bonding in acetylene c2 h2 this is a structure linear bond angle 180 bond distance ch 100 n 6 and cc 120 promote an electron from the 2s to 2p orbitals like this mix together hybridize the 2s orbital and one of the 3p orbitals two equivalent half field sp hybrid orbital plus 2p orbital left unhabitized one of the two sp orbitals is involved in a sigma bond to hydrogen the other is involved in a sigma bond with two carbon look at here the unhabitized p orbitals of carbon are involved in separate pi bond to the other carbon now one pi bonds involve one of the p orbital on each carbon there is a second pi bond perpendicular to this one look at here so which theory of chemical bonding is based? Lewis most familiar easiest to apply. Valence bond orbital hybridization provide more insight than Lewis model. Ability to connect a structure and reactivity to hybridizations developed with practice. Molecular orbitals potentially the most powerful method but in the most abstract require the most experience to use effective. So friends hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like this video then subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.